are absolutely gripped by the really, really incredible scenes coming out of Southeast Asia. Typhoon Mankut, it has left the Philippines now and we are watching it progress to Hong Kong. There are a lot of mudslides, a lot of landslides, reports of people uh, being trapped after all those heavy rains, heavy winds. The winds in Hong Kong are now reaching over uh, 100 miles an hour. Look at that bamboo scaffolding just being ripped off the buildings here because of the strength of those winds. That storm is now headed for Guangdong. Guangdong is one of the most populous parts of China. 100 million residents living there and the Chinese authorities are busy trying to evacuate as many people out of the path of the storm as they can. Jacksonville, North Carolina just can't catch a break. The rain continues to come down and these floodwaters keep on rising. Take a look at that billboard right there behind me. You can see that the water is almost reaching the sign there and just beyond that, that's a box truck and a utility truck, both of them stuck, the water going right up to the windows. The latest radar estimates show that nearly 30 inches of rain has fallen in this area and it does look like more is on the way. And you see the destruction behind me. Down trees like this one, unfortunately, are a common sight throughout this area, blocking streets, some of them falling into homes and taking lives. This is a dire situation that authorities are warning will only get worse. We have a lot of rescuers in this area that have been working for the past 36 hours. They continue to work throughout the next several days, rescuing people who become stranded in these floodwaters. The Coast Guard is rescuing people by air and by water. We also have the Cajun Navy out and about in full force, making some of those rescues as well. Many people in dire need. And in addition to all of these concerns with the power outages, we also have looting concerns. The dollar store here in Wilmington looted overnight. Police made several arrests and now have expanded a curfew for the area 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. Tropical depression but slow moving so the rain bands continue to feed in and Cape Fear, Southeast North Carolina, Wilmington, Jacksonville, Fayetteville continue to get hammered. Some of these areas seeing 20 to 30 inches measured with this storm alone. Some of these areas also had a 20 inch surplus of rain from the uh, wet summer. So uh, we're seeing river flooding, we're seeing urban flooding, and uh, flash flood warnings continue through Sunday afternoon. Now we have tornado watches that are posted as well that now include Myrtle Beach. So this thing continues to move slowly and continues to flood. In some cases, the flooding will stick around for weeks. We're here on Cape Cod just after that deadly shark attack. You can see here the beach is closed to swimmers. This is the first time a shark attack has turned deadly in this area in 80 years. But experts now tell us the reason that this may have happened is because there is a booming seal population. You can see here this sign is warning people that great whites are in the area. There's been essentially a feeding frenzy in this area as those sharks are starting to head south. Uh, for the winter. We're getting ready to say bye to a legend at ABC. Today is Ron Claiborne's last day here. This goes all the way back to June 30th, actually, 1986. So 32 years, almost three months at ABC News. Uh, so many memories and experiences. One thing I wanted to say is always be respectful of the audience, uh, be true to them. I saw journalism re re reporting as a as a public service. So, you know, what I wanted to do every time I got an assignment was do the best story I could do, the most honest story, the most balanced story I could, be for the sake of the audience, because the audience counts on people like myself and journalists uh, to inform them. That's the important cog that makes a democracy run. Favorite story, just off the top of my head, was when I got to drive a NASCAR, 155 miles an hour on a track in Charlotte, North Carolina. That was a wonderful moment, but there are a lot of others. It was a great run, I've had a great time. ABC is the best. Travel with us and get the news you need right now.